Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is January the 7th, 2020, and uh, in this video here, I'm going to be showing you how to do um, strawberry seeds in a wet paper towel method. Now, um, this is one of my strawberry seeds right here that I'm using this for. This is the uh, Alexandria strawberry, and uh, it is a smaller strawberry. Um, it's an alpine strawberry, but it's supposed to be a high-yielding strawberry. So, um, I think they weigh like two to three grams each. So this is my first year growing these. So first of all, what you'll need is you'll need a paper towel and uh, you want to make it wet, but you don't want it dripping wet. And then, um, you'll need a plastic bag and you'll need your strawberry seeds. Now you want your strawberry seeds, preferably chilled, which what I do with mine is I put my strawberry seeds a Ziploc bag and I put them in the refrigerator for three weeks. So um, you can either put them in the refrigerator before you sew them or you can put them in the freezer for three weeks and uh, you can store them in there so that your strawberry seeds last longer. So these here were done in the um, refrigerator. And my seeds are right here and I'm only going to plant four of these because I already have some that are germinating and uh, I will be showing those to use then. So I'm just going to pick my seed up here. You can see they are very tiny. So um, if you have like a fan running or something, go ahead and turn that off. I'm just going to put my seeds on there. And I'll finish putting the rest of these on here. Hold on a moment. They can see my tiny strawberry seeds on here. Now, um, normally you plant about 10 strawberry seeds, especially if you're doing a germination test. On any seed, if you're doing a germination test on them, um, go ahead and plant like 10 seeds minimum to see how many germinate. But um, because I already have some growing in uh, the wet paper towels and I already have some out in the greenhouse growing I don't want to get too many so that's why I only did four because I wanted to show you in the video how to do this so I'm just taking the paper towel here and I'm folding it over go. and you can see if I pick this up you can see if I pick this up there's no water running out of it or anything like that and you don't want water running out of it because you don't want to rot your seeds so I'm just gonna put these in my bag here okay so I put this in my bag here and uh, I left about an inch of the bag up here unzipped and the reason why I did that is because as seeds are germinating they need oxygen plus it allows some of the excess moisture to escape and it basically allows everything to breathe. Um, it lets fresh air in. Now I do open my bags up uh, about two times a day to let some fresh air in. And I do check these to make sure that they're not drying out because if they start drying out, then um, your seeds, if they were germinating, they'll die or um, it will make your germination time longer. So just make sure that your paper towel stays nice and moist. And you can do that with like a spray bottle or something like that. I just kind of feel in to feel if it feels moist to me. And um, I am going to be putting these under my lights. Um, I'm using an LED fluorescent light. And uh, it's on for 14 hours a day. So uh, I will show you that then. Now, um, strawberry seeds will normally germinate in 14 to 48 days. Now, I have found if you pre-chill the seeds, they do come up a lot faster. Um, I do have some alpine strawberry seeds right now that are germinating under my light that took about seven days to germinate. And they need an ideal temperature of about 60 to 75 degrees to germinate. So um, you could, if you chose to, put this like on um, top of a refrigerator or a freezer or something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to use my grow boxes because the heat... The light heats the box up some and it gives me the temperature that I need. So I am going to label this here so uh, I don't get these mixed up and I know which ones these are. 
So we'll be right back. So, uh, I just stuck my new ones in over here. I'm going to have to find my marker so I can label it then. And um, making sure that these don't dry out is really important. And making sure that you check on them every day. Because um, you do want to get them transplanted into their little um, whatever you choose to plant them in. I prefer to use seed starting mix, um, which I will show you how to transplant them because um, these up here are my Alexandria's here, and I have about four of these germinating right now. I checked on them today, and I seen where about four of them are germinating. So um, I'm going to continue to watch these and really monitor them. A uh, few things that can happen when you're germinating them is if you let them go too long, you can actually crush your little seedlings. Um, or they can rot or um, it's just best to get them out of this then and get them transplanted as soon as you see them starting to come up. So these here are the Temptation and then over here is the Tresca and then I have my uh, Alexandria ones. And I have noticed the Alexandria does seem to germinate faster than some of the other ones. So. As soon as I transplant these right here, I'll come back and uh, I'll show you how to transplant them and um, how to prepare your seed starting mix so um, to help minimize the transplant shock. And uh, you could also use a germination mat for these if you chose to. Um, the light here is heating the box up and uh, that's just what I'm using to germinate them. And um, I've done this I've used this method before and it worked very well for me, so um, I'm using the same method again. So uh, these are some of my Alexandria strawberry seeds that germinated in uh, the wet paper towel method. Now these were started on the 31st and you can see here they did sprout. So what I did is I brought them out to the greenhouse and uh, the day before I took my uh, soil here, my uh, Jiffy natural and organic seed starting mix. And I mixed it up, put it in my little trays here, and I put it in an enclosed container on the heated floor. And that warmed my soil up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully, and uh, if I have to let the paper towel on, I will because sometimes the seeds, the roots grow through the paper towel. So um, I'm going to put these in uh, this right here without damaging the roots. And I'll come back and I'll show you then what to do next. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I got these all put in here. Now some of these, um, they didn't push the seed coating off yet. And they were just starting to sprout. So I did put those in there as well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of soil. And I'm going to put it over the root here. And I don't want to cover up my seedling. And I'm going to get my tray of soil here, my seed starting mix. Some of these I couldn't get them loose from the paper towel and I don't want to damage that seed root. So um, I just put the paper towel in with it. And the paper towel will break down. I've never had an issue um, with the paper towel causing any problems. I'm just going to cover the root here with my uh, seed starting mix and I don't want to damage the seedling there. And I don't want to cover the top up. I just want to get that root covered. So I'm going to finish um, settling these in. And then uh, I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm gently going to mist over it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gently going to mist over this now. I got everything all settled in the way that I want it. And you got to be very um, careful when doing this so that you don't break or damage anything. And uh, because right now I'm 
holding the uh, camera, I couldn't show you um, separating the uh, little ceilings out of the paper towel. But um, I am going to label these. But first what I want to do is I want to get them back in the enclosed um, container so that they stay nice and warm as they're establishing themselves. Okay, so I have them in the, the little container here. And I'm not putting the lid on tight. I'm just fitting the lid back on um, about like this. This will allow the excess heat to escape out and allow fresh air to come in. And um, these are probably going to stay in here for about five days to help them establish in. And I am going to be checking on them twice a day. I do take the lid off twice a day. Keeping my um, seed starting mix moist is very important. So um, I am going to be, you know, watching them, making sure nothing's drying out and uh, making sure, you know, that um, they're establishing themselves in. I have done all of these right here. Now these are different types of seeds and I have a whole nother flat of uh, seedlings that I've done from uh, the wet paper towel methods. And what I found is to get the highest success rate out of them when you transplant them, just go ahead and put them in like a little miniature greenhouse so to speak and uh if you don't have a heat mat just go ahead and use your lights it'll heat it up in there for them and uh it'll keep them nice and warm for you because when i did this last year um with my other seeds and uh, my wet paper towel methods um i put them under my uh my led fluorescent lights or uh, my regular fluorescent lights that were the sunshine bulbs and I'd have the lights off for 14 hours a day and uh, the lights heated the box up inside and it created like a little mini greenhouse environment and then uh, my seedlings were able to uh, establish themselves okay so um, today is January the 12th 2020 and uh, my little Alexandria strawberry seedlings that I transplanted from um, the wet paper towel method to my soil they've pushed all of the seed coatings off so um, I got a hundred percent germination rate with uh, the wet paper towel method so I am gonna be moving these out of this uh, enclosed container here and I'm gonna be putting them in another tray on the floor so um, this is the one I just took out of the uh, enclosed tray here and the reason why I did this is I want my plants to grow um, I don't want my I don't want my plants to start growing tall and spindly so um, I'm taking them out of the enclosed container and um, they're still getting the heat from the floor so that's gonna um, help them continue to uh, grow and uh, it shouldn't let them get too cold so these over here um, were the ones I did in my seed starting mix and you can see I still have two that didn't come up yet and um, I did check on uh, my Alexandria strawberry seeds that I sowed on the 7th in the wet paper towel method and uh, I did see today where they're just starting to sprout so um, I will be transplanting those uh, the exact same way that I did with these So as these continue to grow, I'll come back with more videos and I'll show them to you. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you as I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye.